Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to configure TACAT for device administration. In this case, we'll be using um, ICE 2.6. We have the latest patch, which is patch number 5. For the switch, this will be just a Linux image. However, if you have any other switch or router, it should work. The configuration is just the same. This is the configuration that we'll be using. Basically, it will be just to create the server. Then you can give it a name. Then you need to add the server IP address. This is for ICE 2.6 IP address. And the uh, the radius or the tacket, sorry, share circuit key, which is Cisco, just to keep it simple. Then what you need to do is just to create the AAA group for tackets. You can give it a name, it's up to you as well. And then just add the cert that we create before. For the AAA lines, it's very simple as well. It's just AAA authentication login default. <coughs> then use the group and the group that we create, that which is uh, this one, and then the local, in case we don't have connection to the server, you will use, you'll be using your local access. And then the authorization for the shell is this one, so make sure to add this command, always using the local at the end, just in case. And for the authorization, I always use 0, 7, and 15, however it is up to you. It then let's also add the one for the authorization for the config commands when we enter the config mode. And that's it, that's the full configuration. If you try to add those commands, if this is a new switch, it's not going to work. So I always make sure to add this command, which is to play new model before adding those commands. Uh, if I'm mistaken, if you don't add this command, it's not gonna work. Uh, remember to be honest. So. For testing, we'll be using a couple of users, which is will be the admin user and the limited user. Those are ID users. Those are a Windows Server 2016. Um, there is a couple of groups we'll be using as well, which is this one and this one. So let me show you just the connection to ID. Okay, this is the connection that we have. And let me show you the group as well, which is, is this one for training. And we have this one for Cisco admins. So now for the, um, also remember that you need to add the network device to the configuration. This is the one. Just enter the device name, this is up to you. You can use this as a condition as well, or you can use AP address. So this is the IP that I, that I use. This is the switch IP address. Uh, the location, uh, IP security, or device type is up to you. This is a switch. So I select the switches. Then for the key, let's uh, just enter the tacket key. The one we're using is Cisco. This is the same that I have on the switch configuration. So make sure to use the same key. Okay, now um, for the, let me show you. Let's create, well, I already created, so let me show you. This is the command set. So let's check the profile first. There is one for admin. So let me show you the one for the admin users. This is the name, you can give it a name, it's up to you. Uh, it will be for the shell access and the default privilege will be 15 and a maximum privilege of 15 as well. So basically we should be able to use any command as this will be an admin user. Then let's check the limited profile. It's basically the same, the only difference is just the name. It will be using 15 and 15 as well. Um, if you're taking the with 15 answer accessory, you should be able to use any command, but it won't because we'll be limiting the commands for the user under the command sets. 
So for the admin, uh, let me show you. Basically, what you need to do is just to mark uh, or to check this option. Permit any command there is no listed below. So in this case, the user should be able to use any command. And for the limited, uh, even though this user has a privilege 15, um, he won't be able to access the config mode or to use any command. Basically, you are you are not marking this option. So what you do basically is just to add the commands that you want to permit for these users. In this case, I have the exit command, the enable command, the show command for the show running config, and the show IP interface. Uh, so basically, those four commands are the only ones that this user should be able to to take to type it in under the CLI. So now let's check. Uh, the policy set. <coughs> so this is the one. Here we have the conditions. So this again. So make sure uh, the device meet those two requirements, which is will be under the switches devices. And then we are using as a condition the device IP address, which is the switch IP. But you can use any other condition. That so that's up to you. Now for the authentication, um, <clears throat> as well, this is up to you. I'm using just the switches condition for the device types, but you can use any other condition. Also make sure to use the correct sequence. This is an AD user, so this is the sequence we're using for uh, the AD connection. And then for the authorization, uh, this is where we basically separate one user from the other. So this is our uh, admin rule. So basically what we do is just to select our join point, which is will be at the local lab, and then just select our group for the user. So this user belongs to the Cisco admin groups. So that's the one that we'll be using. And then for the limited, it's just the same. So if you want... Um, I will show you how to get there, which is basically you add just the condition here and then just select the entity group or you can have it here from the drop menu as well, which is this one. So then just select the join point and then just select the group that you will be using. So that's it. So let's remove this one. And that's it. So now let's do some testing. Okay. Let's try a new connection. Let's try to use the admin user. To be admin user. Okay, perfect. We're in, so we should be able to get Okay, this is the one for the authentication for admin user. This is our user that we're using, and this, are, this is our device IP address. So now with this user, we should be able to use any command. So let's test. Terminal, test game, let's go and it be wrote. Uh, okay. okay, perfect. We're able to create a row, so we have full access to it. Okay, now. Let's test one more time with the limited user. In this case, we should be able just to enter just the show commands. Sorry. 
Okay, it was just asking me to, let's try one more time. Okay, perfect, we're in. So in this case, <coughs> With this user, we should be able just to use the sharing command. So let's try to access the config mode just for testing. And we were able to do it, which is not correct. So let's double check. Okay, we're getting Let's check because when I show you the, the policy elements before, I think that I maybe okay. Yes, that's the problem. I I just check this option. So so make sure you have that option and check it for the for the read user or the limited users. So now let's test one more time. Let's close this one. Okay, perfect. So let's test one more time. Okay, perfect. Now it's working. It was that just by mistake. I just checked the option for permit any command. So as you can see, we are enabled to go to the config mode. In this case, we should be able to use a short run command, which is okay. Also, we should be able to do uh, what was the other one? Show IP interface brief. Okay, so basically those are the only commands that we should be able to use. Okay, this is the one for the limited users. Okay, perfect, and that's it. That's how you configure uh, DACA's device administrations using the users. The configuration is very simple. In this case, as I mentioned before, this is just a Linux image where you can use any other uh, router or switches. Uh, the configuration should be the same, actually. This configuration that I have here is the recommended configuration. Just creating the, the server and then just add the server to the group. And it should work. If you have any other questions, just uh, let me know. If you need the configuration for any other device, let's say uh, a Nexus or an ASA, a firewall, it works as well. The configuration may be a little bit different, and the configuration as well uh, for Nexus and for um, for firewalls, there are different commands that you need to enter as well. So if you need that, just let me know. So if possible, I can create a video as well for tackets or for radius, if you need that as well. Um, so any questions, just let me know, guys.